What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum, and I have a um, piece of mail that I'm going to open, which I usually don't open the smaller pieces of mail on camera, but um, this is a trade, part of a trade that I made, so uh, that doesn't happen too often, even though I've had two this week, it's, it's really rare that I'm trading at all, so this is from um, Eric, aka Slang and Rocks, a uh, big Kings fan, I traded him some Kings cards that I got in a lot, in fact I... Um, I talked a little bit about those lots on, I think, episode 106. I'll talk a little bit more about this side of it on episode 107. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look here, see what I got. This is, uh, I know there's some stuff, I can see there's some stuff in here that I did not trade for. Um... And I had a feeling this, this was going to be an interesting package, which is part of why it's going to end up on camera here. Because um, I definitely did not trade for Brad Banks from Iowa. So let's see uh, see what we got. I don't know if there's an order that I should be opening these in, but let's take a look. So uh, we got some baseball cards here. We have a, a Game of Thrones card. I don't have any Game of Thrones cards. I've got a Solomon Hill, uh, Panini HRX. These were in the Prism packs. So Solomon Hill. Um, some cool stuff in here. Journey to the Center of the Earth. Trading cards. 91-92 Upper Deck. Um, let's see what else we got here before I get to the trade stuff. So we got, oh, Dallas Clark. Okay, so that actually is um, a Colt. And then, I don't know what year this is. I want to say, I mean, this had to have been the 90s when, yeah, 93. Because uh, the 80s stuff was in just the clear team bags, I think, pretty much. Um, all right, so maybe I'll open that at the end here. Let's get to the PC stuff. PC stuff, um, and I didn't trade for this many, so I think he's throwing some things in here. So let's start. <laughs> he told me he had a Jeff Foster. Um, let me put these down. I don't want to disclose what they are just yet. He told me he had a Jeff Foster shadow card for me. Um, this <laughs> he said I've got a better one than the Carmelo shadow card, and here you go, Jeff Foster. <laughs> is getting just absolutely, you know he's getting dunked on hard when he's got the, the arm up to, like, protect himself. Um, and it's not like Big Z had, like, amazing hops. So uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to maybe even see if I can find that play. I don't know if that, I doubt that game's online. I'll have to see if I can find that and see what all happened there. I'm sure Jeff, you know, miraculously recovered and blocked that shot. Um he asked me if I had this. I said I did, but I, if, if he had an extra, I, I think I'm going to put it in my frame, my Jeff Foster frame. This is a 2009 gold. Pretty nice. This is a nice, um, wow, there's some nice stuff in here that I definitely didn't trade for, so that's awesome. Um, nice Granger, SP Signature Auto, Trilogy, Jamal Tinsley, numbered to 100. It's a really nice looking card. I don't I don't have a good of course I didn't bring my lamp over here today. Um 2006 EX our test they did the acetate. That was when I was originally boycotting our test card, so I, I missed out on a lot of this stuff and now I'm collecting it, so thank you. Um great these are great looking. This is a finest. That's cool, 77. So his number twice, eBay 101, right? Um, finest card of Jermaine O'Neal, I think it's 05, 06. And then here's the two that I traded for. A Greats of the Game, which he um, was really big into that set. Okay, I believe Eric was. Um, greats of the Game, future great Danny Granger, on-card auto, number to 99. Awesome, thank you so much. And then here's the big one. Looks like a Topps Total card, right? Uh, but there's a serial number there. Um, I'm really, really happy that I have been collecting this Gold Pacers set um, since it came out. 
I have all, the whole team. I had the whole team except for four players. Granger, Artest, Sarunas, Yesikavages, and Scott Pollard. Um, I'll go into the history more when I talk about this mail day on, on um, the next episode. But I knew he had this card. I tried to get it before. I wasn't going to badger him for it. Um, I really didn't badger him for it this time. And, and he suggested that we include this as part of the trade. So... Um, I know it was one he, he maybe didn't want to part with uh, initially. So that that means something to me because I know that he actually did um, really make the, a decision to give this up. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, one step closer to my set. And it's Granger Rookie. Um, just, I'm just really happy to own this card. So thank you very much. And um, I'm going to decide what to do with these. I don't know if I'm going to open these on camera. Sometimes I like to save packs, but um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting here in Journey to the Center of the Earth. You know what? Maybe I'll just open them. So I didn't know I was getting these. Um, so you know what? Yeah, let's let's just open them. Let's just open them up. All right. I don't know anything about this set. This is one like arc like the archives. Where did you get this from? Right? Was that is that Brennan Fraser in this movie? I think. Pretty cool. Looks like 3D. Like I need some 3. Oh yeah, it was. It was the 3D premium trading cards. All right, let's open. I'm a little bit familiar with this, so I want to save the star for last because I've never opened one of those star packs. So let's see what we got here. Um, I remember the the Jordan Magic from this set is actually, you know, taken off a little bit. I think. Um, Stockton, Alvin Robertson, Stacy King, one of my least favorite NBA announcers. D Brown, it's S. Howley's guy right there. We got our checklist. Jerry Reynolds. You don't see a lot of Jerry Reynolds stuff. I think I saw Jerry Reynolds actually at a G League game a year or two ago. Um, and of course, I wasn't expecting to see Jerry Reynolds. Um, John Morton. Which I think I mentioned Jerry. Actually, I think I mentioned Jerry Reynolds when uh, I did a, a mail day, a different Jerry Reynolds. Uh, or when I did a mailbag segment for a question that Eric asked me. So that's kind of funny. Chris Mullen, Brian Shaw, Antoine Carr, Chucky Brown, and Will the Thrill Purdue. Ripping that ball away from Vladi Divac. Um, and the dude in the... This is like Inception. I don't know if you can see that. Let me focus in. That dude kind of looks like Vladi Divac too. Inception. All right. Um, I've never opened one of these star packs. Eric, I hope these were meant to be opened. I didn't uh, receive any instructions. So, um, here we go. Are these, uh, is this a Phoenix pack? Or I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know this set very well here. Oliver Miller, Harold Miner, Baby Shack. So this is 94. Another Oliver Miller, but it's different on the bottom. It says personal info. So I guess the back of the card. Oh, okay, cool. So one, number 32 was his stats. Number 76 was personal info. I've no, I no idea. So I'm actually learning stuff. So this, uh, this is a good inclusion for this, um, this little package here. Good inclusion. I'm learning stuff. Chris Mullen career best. So then it's going to show his career best on the back. That's pretty cool. Kevin McHale, Sean Kemp, Scott Burrell, Christian Leitner, and Richard Dumas. So all in all, thank you so much. A um, lot of you know stuff I didn't expect, a few things I did expect. Um, but Eric, once again, thank you. I really appreciate it.